Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today we're going to be using a special Ikitasa fit for T6 Abyss. This is what I think would be the most reliable Ikitasa fit, or at least one of the most reliable Ikitasa fits for T6 Abyss, because the main issue I have with the T6 Abyss and the Ikitasa is the DPS is not there. And even if you put some faction mods on it, like the Velas in Tropic Sinks, you still have a bit of problems with the DPS. So you know what? There's always a one step higher from faction. That is the officer, the Zoria. Zoria's entropic heat sinks, the triple Zoria's entropic heat sinks, plus the Zoria's heavy entropic disintegrator. We're going to be going into the T6 Abyss with a 35 billion isk fit. Now this is on the test server because I wouldn't be silly enough to do this on the tranquility because first of all, gankers, second of all, if I make some dumb mistake, I would not want to lose this on Tranquility. So we're going to go in with the high DPS fit. Like, look at this DPS. This is like almost Gila level DPS pre-spool. Now, when we get spool, we are going to be doing DPS off the chart. We'll be doing about almost 2k DPS, I think, with max spool here. And something that is also amping up the DPS a lot is a very expensive implant I bought as well on the test server. It is this special one called Pashan's Turret Customization Mind Link. It gives a 7% bonus to rate of fire. And this is pretty essential for the Ikitursa. Because the thing is, the Ikitursa, if it has a good fire rate, then it'll have an easier time spooling up faster. And usually you have the 006 implants that are the best. Like the ones that increase the like rate of fire or damage by 6%. But this is a special one that increases it by 7%. But this costs, I think, like 2 billion isk or something like that. So it is really good in this regard. We're going with the high grain Asclepians and really holding nothing back. The only thing we're really holding back is, I guess, this thing right here. Centum A-type multispectrum. I could have maybe tried to go on with the officer one. I didn't manage to get my hands on one of those. But we're going to be using these as if I was to do this on Tranquility, as if I had was to be farming the T6 Firestorms. So we're going to be them using some cheap boosters. These are just to aid us a little bit. These Pyrolancia Dust 1 and the Exile Booster, because I could obviously go with the Pyrolancia Dust 4. The Dust 4 has like really good DPS increase. We'll be doing over 700 DPS with that in. But the thing is that costs like 50 million isk and like what's the point of doing a Firestorm then if you're going to anyway use that so much on the like supply costs. The whole point of doing the Firestorm is that it's very little maintenance cost because of how cheap the filaments are. So we're going to grab this and jump into the Abyss. Now what I'm going to do here, because I really do, I even on CC, I do not want to lose these here because it's going to be hard to get them back. So what I'm going to do here is look on like have this move me command thing here here so if something does go wrong i can always move here i don't think we'll have to do that but just in case you know just in case all right so this is some nice dps right here look at that like 690 dps is like gila level dps or at least lower end gila level dps and that is pre-spool we just spool up a little bit we're gonna hit like an absolute truck like absolutely wreck these abyssal entities we do so good tracking as well so it's going to aid a lot too because we're going to be like hitting good hits like you know the penetrating and smashing shots it's gonna it's gonna hit hard it's gonna hit hard all right let's get into the abyss see now firestorm that is cataclysmic got the mystic and got the occult right here and i've also done something that i've trained this to medium disintegrator specialization to level five as well just all out everything i could possibly do to increase that dps going on <laughs> all right let's jump in i hope we don't get popped we have a boss tank on this ship but i have died once in the test server when i went face in to these rogue drone battle cruisers really dumb of me i should have destroyed these like rogue drone frigates instead because these rogue drone frigates were webbing me keep me in place there's like seven or something a really high amount of them okay renewing rodiva let's go in here straight in because these guys don't do any dps to us so we can just face tank these guys no problem we'll go with the snare caster properly lock up a rodiva too just try to lob some of these frigates on the way here like this kind of shoot a little bit almost almost there we go oh <laughs> one shot Okay, we shoot this guy. <laughs> Almost one shot, uh, two shot. I think he got a grazing hit, that's why. Okay, now we can probably go with Occult and start shooting these guys here. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Keep it arranged at 7.5 maybe. 
you saw the shield that went down really fast. Don't panic. The shield is like really tiny on the Tech 2 Triglavian ships. The Nuggle, I think it has like 200 shield HP. Really tiny shield. And we can use these augmented ha hammerheads. I'm not too big fan of using the drones right now because there's a lot of these rogue, little rogue drones on the grid that are going to help us get them wrecked. Like they're going to like to go for them. And there's also a Deviant Automata Suppressor, I believe. Because you see they're all taking shield damage. Ah, uh, I don't know. There must be some Deviant Ultimate Express, otherwise why have they all got some damage going on like that? With these big hits going on right here. I've got minus 70%, so we're going to be probably doing this really fast. We'll make our way towards the transfer conduit. Can maybe start shooting this guy over here to get stuff going quick. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to knock out these Rogue Drone Frigates so that they don't take out my drones. I can Webify him too. Webify is very potent combined with the Entropic Disintegrators because the Entropic Disintegrators have very good tracking. You get Webify, it makes you one tap these guys just like I did right there. Okay, shoot this guy. I know it's, you've got some really good tracking on this thing. It's really good tracking. Okay, let's shoot him. Probably what would be better is actually have my drones go for these frigates and then I have my Entropic Disintegrator go on the Rodiva instead because these guys will at least apply a bit better, I guess. And it will also remove their remote reps. You see that? Wrecking these guys. And the uh, Rodiva dies pretty fast too. Okay, great. Let's wreck him. We can even webify these drones just to aid a bit with the tracking even on these medium drones. Medium drones usually apply really good to the Rogue Drone Frigates. But just to just make it a little bit extra. You see that? He's got a bigger remote rep right there. There we go. This guy is almost dead. You see that? Always our DPS. Like, see that 700 DPS straight away, like on the Entropic Disintegrator. This, these drones could do good about, I think, 150 DPS total. We're sitting at 800 DPS right there. So, very quickly, we'll get up to good DPS levels that are way beyond average gilas. And we'll go even beyond pimped gilas if we just give it a bit of time, too. Alright, wreck this guy. Now this is obviously a bit of a joke fit as well because I would never want to use this on Tranquility even though it's like seems to be pretty effective and if even if it was effective because it just uh, it doesn't seem worth it I can just do this all in a gear that's worth 5 billion and it'll be just as good and it's just I don't feel like the bling will be at all worth it and you'll probably be on Ganker's like number one priority list if you're rocking around these these uh, as officer mods Okay, there's a ton of starving Vedmax, but you know what? The good thing about the Zoria is that it gives us more power grid to spare. So we're using dual large cam batteries, so this is really good in terms of capacitor. Before, I was using a medium cam battery. Okay, we can wait before. Oh, did you see that? He almost like one shot at this guy. Okay, now we might have to use some remote reps or something like that on the drones. Okay, well, we're going to go for these Vedmax. Vedmax are important to take out. You do not want to let them spool up. Shoot, please. Oh, we've got really bad range on this. Look at all these ghosts right here. No, 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 no. We do not want to die like this. Okay, yeah, this ghost is dead. We're going to move a little bit to the side. I don't worry too much about the starvers again because of the... What I was telling you about the cat battery, but still. We can take out these ghosts. Like, look at that. Do you see our range right there? We're getting no range whatsoever from this uh, uh, entropic disintegrator because of them taking us out like that. To be honest, at this point, I maybe we'll just go with the mystic... But I'm already going on the, the ghosting and they're going down really fast. So I'll keep going on these ghosters until I have the necessary range. Yeah, we have the necessary range. Okay, we're going for these guys now. Uh, we'll web fire them too to help it a little bit too. And actually, we'll keep these drones going. All we can do is... Is there even automatic suppressor? No. Okay, we've got these remote reps here that can help a bit. See these remote reps right here? They're very nice. Help, help a lot. Uh oh, but this guy maybe is going to take a bit of critical damage. We want to recall that then. No, we do not want to take him, take structure damage. Good, good, good. Now with the Starva over here. See, we've got a really good tank, especially against Triglavians. We have a very potent tank on this uh, Ikitursa just because of our extremely high Thelma resistance. See here, Thelma resists really high. We've also got pretty strong uh, explosive resistance too. And it also didn't help that we had a bit of a tangle over there. He was making us not able to get close to these guys. I can lock up this guy too. I'm surprised how quick we destroyed the... <laughs> the Damovics. They went down so fast. 
can go towards the transfer conduit even as well. I'll deploy these drones and we'll also lock up the damaged hammerhead over there. This is a good uh, demonstration of how good this guy's tank is because we're in the minus 70% resistance right here. We'll get some very nice tank from this. Can take out this tank over too. And then he'll just go really fast. So yeah, repping the drones, repping the drones, remote repair the drones. Important to remote repair the drones. The, I mean, the augmented hammerheads have got a pretty good armor pool. They've mainly got their HP in the structure, but they've also got a big armor pool. And then we are also in the firestorm, which buffs their armor. So that's very useful for getting them to survive. Like they have more, for example, uh, buffer in terms of their armor compared to the standard tech twos. I think they have the same amount as the faction. It's the same, similar. So they are on the tankier side, but they are unlike the faction, they do a lot more DPS too. Wreck these trick scrubbians. We'll just wreck this Vedmac and then we'll go towards the transfer con. We'll snipe these guys in the way there because all these other guys, they like to orbit us at 500. Let's see now, take out maybe this spark needle. We just want to be extra wary, I guess, of the drones that do kinetic damage because we've got a pretty low kinetic damage. Or oh, kinetic resistance is what I'm trying to say. See, is kinetic resistance really crap? The thing is, in the abyss, there's very few entities that actually do uh, the kinetic damage. The rogue drone battle ship, the rogue drone battle ship, he does kinetic damage, but it's only partially kinetic damage. It's not fully kinetic damage, and still, we even then tank really, really well because of the thermal damage he does, because he does a mix of thermal and kinetic. And then we also able to speed tank really well. And then on top of that. There's nothing really else. You could say maybe the uh, the like the rogue drones, like the standard ones. You can get the strike ones, but you just gotta really take them out, and then they can. There's there's nothing really to worry about. Like you see, this strike. He does kinetic damage, and then also, also if we had a strike grip tessera, we could also take him out, and then he would you know, be off the field. We can lob this, and we'll lob this guy here. <laughs> it's just so nice lobbing people with these disintegrators. It's really satisfying. Great. Okay, recall this. Uh, we're doing pretty good for time right there. Zoria is strong. Zoria is strong in the Kitasa right here. Should have probably repaired these drones. They've still got a bit of armor damage going on. Unfortunately, I can't use the armor repairs inside the drone bay. Okay, what have we got here? I've got any ghosters. There's a ghoster. Mystic. Oh, they are fast. Oh, yeah, it's because of the Tachyon Cloud. I'm going to be a bit careful right there. I don't want to die to the Tachyon Cloud. Occult. Occult S. No, it's Occult M we're using. We're using the Medium Occult. Okay, knock out this Ghoster, please. Oh, we can't because our weapons are being ghosted too hard. They ghost our weapons. There we go. I'll wreck this guy, too. Cult. There we go. I've got the Tanglers and the Vedmax we can take out after that because the Tanglers is a bit annoying because you know the make us go slow. In a effect, it actually makes us apply worse because we have a harder time like keeping range, so they can orbit us a bit better. But there's only one, so it's pretty chill. We can lock up some of these guys too. Oh, Tachyon Cloud as well. We can approach this guy here. Give these guys a bit of remote reps. Remote reps. Recall these drones, there's a lot of, it's quite hot right here. It's hot. Let's see now, what have we got on the grid? Nothing really. Nothing really, no dangerous evil. What we could do is try to like, approach these guys, I guess, to sort of get a bit of a better transversal going on since we're in a tachyon cloud right here. We can actually move out of the tachyon cloud because it's just going to make this a lot slower since it will be you know worse tracking with the increased speed of all these guys so we'll move out here we're going like mwd speeds so or faster than mwd speeds <laughs> with the afterburner right now we're doing i think what we'll do is still decent damage with the mystic because we've just got so much pimp damage here all right there we go See now what is our damage doing right now? Almost 500 DPS. 500 DPS is the default I've got for Occult right here. Just on the weapon alone, not including drones. So we could actually switch to Occult right now. 
There we go. And here, I think the occult has a better tracking than the mystic as well. Got two things going on. We don't want to go to the abyssal depths. They're pretty tragic to die to those. Okay. Grab these anchoring Davix. Oh, that's actually kind of a cool thing. You see how the little small drones, they die when they're in the abyssal depths. So if you have a ship that really is annoyed with these Vela swarmers, then you can just go here and just have all these guys get wrecked by themselves. Okay. There we go. We'll move towards the transfer conduit. I think it's a uh, slowly, slowly but surely. We can use our drones now as well. I think is a good idea. Lock up these drones. Logi to the drones. We're logi boys. We are logi boys. Give these guys a bit of remote repairs. See how they get a bit of drone. Uh, like they get a bit of. Why is this tachyon cloud the whole side basically? They get a bit of extra armor when they go in the firestorm side. It's just the way it works. You see that they get a bit of buffed armor. I don't think they actually get more armor. It's just that, like, they have a large armor. There's tachyon cloud over here. Demon automatic suppress over here. Like, can you please just stop? Like, I don't know what this 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 room wants to just piss me off. Okay, this blue cloud will be good. Good tracking going on right here. There we go. Shoot, please. Uh, this is why I hate with just turret based weaponry in general in the abyss. It's just so. so tedious. Everything is just like they to get the, under your guns or anything. It's never that problem with the drone based warships. I'm not talking about freighters, I'm talking about cruisers. Like, there's always something that gets under your guns. There's some kind of the tracking thing, they're doing ghosting, something like that. They have good countermeasures for blaster based stuff or turret-based stuff in the abyss especially blasters because blasters you need to get up real close and personal it's that's what's really nice thing about this entropic disintegrated that we don't even have to like, get really close to do a lot of damage with the occult blasters would have like i don't know 6k or full off or something like that we've got 8k optimal so that's a completely different ball game right there okay yeah these guys are dying very fast especially since we're in the blue cloud we're wrecking these guys mm-hmm Simple as that, and we go towards the, the origin conduit now. I think now it's about time to go to the origin conduit. Just maybe you don't want to go and attack you on cloud, just as we, we call because we will not be able to hit these guys if they're orbiting attack you on speeds. We'll, we'll just about be able to hit them at least. Look at these drones right here getting absolutely annihilated by the <laughs> the demon automatic suppressor. We can stop here just before the attack you on cloud, and we can zoom in when the site is finished. There we go. Zoria's Ikitursa. The 35 billion Ikitursa doing T6 sites. I mean, time was pretty good, I guess. Uh, under 15 minutes for a firestorm. But, I mean, is it worth it? Um, I wouldn't say so. But if you want to do the Abyss in a really expensive fit that's all out and you want to and some good isk because this is firestorm after all the filaments cost hardly anything and you want to maybe have a little bit of adrenaline when you're running these just in case of you know gankers or in case if you're doing some small mistakes that will maybe get you killed like i don't know running face first into some rogue drone power cruisers like i've done before <laughs> then uh this is the ship for you this is the ship for you if you've got the cash to splash in the abyss and you don't want to go on a gila that's so typical then uh, this is the ship for you so I hope you guys enjoyed the video right here. It's a uh, officer fit Ikitasa in the abyss. I got the link for the fit in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.